What's up guys? I've got a great iPhone 8 leaks update for you today. We now know the final design of the iPhone 8 and there's a feature leak that's been confirmed among other things that I'm very happy to share with you today. But first, giveaway time. So a lot of people have been asking me, when am I giving away the AirPods and the Galaxy S8? And that's going to be at the end of this video. But for this video exclusively, I will be giving away a product, right? I, iPhone 7 Plus, wrong one, whoops. Brand new, never turned on, never... Uh, opened basically. So I actually got this thing for a really good price and I'm going to pass it along to you guys because I've got my share, uh, my fill of iPhone 7 Pluses. So if you guys want a chance to win a shiny, brand new, never opened iPhone 7 Plus, I mean unpeeled anyways, in this video, basically just drop a like uh, down below, comment anything really that you want to win this and uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I will be drawing winners for this soon. I'm honestly just kind of surprised at what kind of feedback I get uh, when I do these giveaways so that makes me want to keep doing them. I mean, can we get 200,000 likes on this video? In the last one, I think we got like 160, 170K. That would be amazing. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe to win it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on that update. Now to begin, more iPhone 8 clone images courtesy of Vania Geskin. Now on this channel, I love iPhone clone stuff. It's always fun to see how they compare to the real deal. But of course, we don't know what the real deal is fully of the iPhone 8. But this basically is what the clone looks like. It's a lot different than what the design is said to be. This is basically what all of the leaks were pointing to maybe a one month, two months ago. Since then, it's been optimized and slightly changed. But they stuck to this design. And now we have physical clones of the iPhone 8 before the release. Of course, the screen is off, uh, the vertical camera, even small details there, the microphone and LED are not inside of the camera, they're outside of it. And there's a fingerprint sensor located smack dab in the middle of the shell. So even though this isn't real, it's been claimed to be fake by Vania Geskin, usually this kind of stuff does happen. This was leaked months, months in advance of the release of the iPhone 7. And look at that, it's pretty much the real deal. You got the raised camera, it used to have the antenna bands running alongside up top. It was really, really accurate. This was the clone that was leaked about two to three months earlier. And still, look at that. It was almost 100% what the real deal was. So even though we may not like this design, it may actually have a shred of truth to what the real one may be. Who knows? And final design. You know, at this point in time, we're so far into all of these leaks, concepts leaks. We've got CAD model files, case leaks. There is so much stuff pointing to this design being the real one. Courtesy of Apple iDesigner, again, great concept artist. If you guys wanna follow him, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But this is his rendition of the iPhone 8 based on all of the leaks. It looks absolutely stunning. I mean, this is like over a 90% certainty of what the real one is going to look like based on everybody's predictions. Everybody's saying the vertical camera is going to happen. So this is just about the final design of the iPhone 8, like it or not. Now here's a rumor about the upcoming lineup later this year that I didn't like. So Vania Giskin is saying there is a possibility that the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus might not happen at all. Instead, Apple will just lower the price of the current iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. I honestly think this would be a terrible a choice for Apple because a lot of people don't want the all glass model. It's gonna cost a ridiculous amount of money, but they're still gonna be stuck with their old iPhone. So for an entire year, they're not gonna be upgrading. So that honestly is a scenario that I don't think Apple is gonna do just because they're gonna lose out on a lot of sales for the people that don't want that model in particular. So, you know, this is just his prediction personally, but it's an outcome that I wouldn't want to see. Now some fantastic news. This is what I've been waiting to hear for the longest time. So courtesy of Economic Daily News from China, they're saying they spoke to TSMC. TSMC is the company that makes the chips for Apple, of course. And they're saying that they have confirmed that Apple has made a breakthrough with their Touch ID integration into the display. Meaning we were talking about this a couple months ago on my news segment and there was an issue with Apple having a bottleneck with that Touch ID technology. They didn't know whether they should put it on the back, remove it altogether, or have it integrated into the display because of manufacturing issues. And now they've broke through those issues and reportedly it will be happening on the iPhone 8. So all of those leaks and rumors with the fingerprint sensor on the back are hopefully fake thanks to this news. And yes, even though we have that fantastic news of the Touch ID being integrated, there's still rumors that persist that it will be on the back, that Apple won't have enough time, manufacturing issues are gonna be the reason they won't choose this technology and instead put it on the back. Not to mention we've been seeing so many case leaks, uh, model leaks, CAD leaks, with this on the back of the phone. So it seems to be a split decision right now. In some of the models, it's not there at all. In some, it's there, you know, placed directly in the back. 
it would be more comfortable than the Galaxy solution, but no, I, I just think that would be a cheap out on Apple's part. They should go all the way and put themselves far ahead of the competition with it integrated into the display. Also rumored from Economic Daily News, the iPhone 8 is going to be the first iPhone ever to have infrared built in, but not in the way that you think. The way they described it is invisible infrared image sensors to enhance the functionality of the high pixel camera and to help with augmented reality functions. So essentially, they're going to be on the front of the display. This might actually contribute to iris scanning, but essentially you're going to have infrared that will be used for the cameras and the modeling aspect of them. And more leaked schematics. Seems like this year we've seen more schematics than any other year combined, but the latest ones basically confirm that it will have a 5.66 inch usable area of the display with a slight slightly longer area for the function area. So overall 5.8 inch display like earlier rumored. And related is another rumor from Economic Daily News that are saying Apple changed their mind about a 16 to 9 aspect ratio on the display. Instead, it will be an 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio on the iPhone 8, which certainly makes sense considering the display will be uh, spanning the entire length of the phone. That means that a lot of your content will be cropped in a certain way. I'm sure Apple will have a solution for that, but essentially 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio. And here's just a size comparison with the current lineup 7 and 7 Plus from iDrop News and Vanya Geskin to give you a perspective and idea of how this phone will look. It's absolutely tiny. Even compared to the Galaxy S8, this thing looks absolutely tiny. That one is just stretched out really big. And the iPhone 8 is very compact in comparison. So that's a very interesting look at the actual size. So take a look at this latest leaked CAD model. This shows a lot of the internals of the shell, but most notably in the middle, there's that wireless charging pad. So we visualized it just a little while ago in a 3D render. Apple is going to cut out a squared circle directly in the middle to allow for that wireless energy transfer transfer and then slap a glass back onto the back of the iPhone. There it is, that's what it looks like inside. It uh, doesn't really tell us much, has a vertical cameras of course, but does confirm wireless charging is still gonna happen. And based on this CAD model and an earlier leak, this is a visualization that shows us the display on on this model. It looks absolutely stunning. This is so cutting edge. I mean, I would be proud to have this in my pocket personally. In my opinion, I think this looks way better than the Galaxy S8's infinity display as the bezel on the bottom is completely non-existent. And more and more case leaks are happening. This is basically confirming the vertical cameras instead of the horizontal like the 7 Plus with all of them showing the flash unit will be in between the cameras. I'm a little curious about that decision. I hope that the refraction isn't bad, that it doesn't affect nighttime photography, but there it is. I mean, it looks sleek, looks good, stainless steel border in some of them, but overall, I'm liking this design visualized. And a piece of news I found very interesting is that Apple is actually working on a new dedicated chip inside of the iPhone, much like the M series chips that focus on motion inside of the iPhone that works separately from the A series chip. This one will be called the Apple Neural Engine. It'll focus on tasks such as speech and facial recognition, as well as handle some Siri functions and some AR and VR functions if Apple decides to include a headset with the iPhone. So this will, in a way, allow those functions to become stronger, as well as offloading that function to a separate chip, which means battery life will be getting slightly better. So Apple is developing a separate chip for the AI capabilities of the iPhone 8, possibly. You know, they don't know if it's gonna be happening for this one or for future iPhones. And take a look at this. A Geekbench from the iPhone 8, supposedly, showing it running 4.5 thousand single core score and 9,000 multi-core score. That's just crazy scores. Well, it was quickly proved to be fake by Primate Lab saying that this is probably a Photoshopped image, but just think. I mean, honestly, I think the multi-core score would be about seven to 8,000, not that high, but the A11 is gonna be one powerful chip. I mean, this is fake, but I'm just curious what the real one could be. And I wanted to show you guys a very elegant solution to the top of the display of the iPhone 8. We talked about it in the past, what Apple might do there uh, with that cutout with all these sensors. You know, they're gonna put the status bar info on the sides on the two separate areas of the screen. But here's a much better way to do it. From a fan on Twitter, this is his solution. Curve the edges on the top, just like you would on the bottom. So that way it 